Okay, so making the clock. I'm going to get a couple of different bits of wood. And you're going to get one long strip like this. You're going to get two battens like this. And you're going to get one smaller strip of wood like that. And these all need to be divided up and cut into the pieces that we need. Let's deal with the big long strip first. This one here. This one here needs to be effectively halved. It should be just over 660 millimetres long. So half of that is going to be 230 millimetres long. So what to do is mark along 230 and put a little mark. Then use your tri-square to put lines all the way around. So we do that by just continuing a line against the edge until it meets itself again where we began. We also want to have a double line so that the space for the saw to fit in the middle. So if we measure it along, maybe about two millimetres, put on a little mark, we can then do the exact same thing again to create a double line. So that's that mapped out and we should have two sections of 230. Don't want you to write on yours because it's going to have to have a nice varnish finish. 230. One, two. So we do the exact same with these pieces. These pieces need to get divided into two as well. And when you do that in the exact same way, you should find that they look like that. So we have 230 here, here, here and here. So each piece has been divided into two. This has been divided into two, this has been divided into two, so we have three pieces and all of those are getting divided into two and are 230 millimetres long. For the small strip, we're going to divide that up into sections of 50 millimetres. We don't need to be as accurate with that, we just need to achieve something like this. Something that gives us a little piece here, here, here and here that's about 50 millimetres. If it's not quite 50 millimetres, if it's 49 or 51, that will actually be okay. And that will end up giving us these when we chop it up with our saw. We'll get that. Okay, so that is the marking out. Marking out to achieve that, so that you're going to have these separate pieces. You're going to have these. 230 millimetres long and you're going to have these 230 millimetres long and what we're going to do is just show you an example so this, this and this will give us one part of the clock, let's say the base and two of these, let's say these two will give us enough to make the base of the clock so that's going to go there this is going to get glued and pinned together to make a little assembly that's something like this. Okay, That slot there is going to be for your glass and for your design and the upright part will come out of there. We'll drill holes here and here. We'll also be learning about planing to remove this material and make it all smooth. Okay, so hopefully this means you understand the marking out and cutting instructions a bit better.